Hi there, my name is Jason Caldwell. I'm the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. All right, I'm just doing another video here covering a topic that's been raised in the forums for S2 member. Uh, and that is in recent uh, versions of S2 member, we've had several reports regarding the login welcome page and it, it not being, re, your customers and members not being redirected to the login welcome page when they log in. And although a few of those bug reports have been legitimate, we have found some issues, some minor issues. Uh, specifically, uh, there was an issue with BuddyPress uh, that was resolved in the last, I think it was in version 3.5.3. .3. We did address that issue. Uh, BuddyPress was making attempts to override S2 members redirection. Uh, but I feel confident that we've corrected uh, all of those remaining issues now. However, we are still getting reports about it. And I wanted to do the video because the reports I feel at this time uh, are almost uh, entirely related to not a, an actual bug, but really a little known feature of WordPress. So that's the feature I wanted to discuss in the video here. And uh, this user, I feel terrible for them. They've had a terrible time with this. Uh, in addition to that, they had a difficult time getting in touch with us. Uh, it was an email barrier of some sort. Uh, but So I decided to do this video on their website so I can show them what's going on and everyone else at the same time. So here I'm going to open their website in this tab. It's called linkemotion.com uh, and it's a beautiful site. Uh, this looks like a, a Woo theme in fact. It's just it's gorgeous. Uh, up here at the top uh, they have the login box and from the appearance of the login box, it would appear that there's two input fields here and there's a submit button. And that is what you see. However, like many login boxes that are designed for WordPress, uh, integrated by uh, theme designers or by plugin developers, some of them contain a, an actual hidden input field that you don't see. And the only way to know about that is if you're actually looking through the source code of your site or you're aware of what I'm going to discuss in this video. So the first thing I'd like to do is show you the easiest way to, to investigate your site to see if your login box is, a, is the source of the conflict that you're seeing. In other words, if you're not being redirected to the login welcome page when you log in as a member of your site. Okay, now if you log in as an administrator, you're not supposed to be logged in. You're not supposed to be redirected to the login welcome page. That's the, that's the intended functionality. But if you're logging in as a member or a free subscriber, you should be. So if you're not, I recommend Firebug. If you just search Google for Firebug, you'll see there's a site called getfirebug.com. It installs into Firefox. Very simple to use. And uh, this is very, very popular. I think uh, just about every developer I know is using this. Uh, you can install it. It's free. And it'll place a little bug icon here in your, your Firefox web browser. Okay. After you've got Firebug, come back to your site. We're going to do link of motion here. I'm going to click on the little bug icon. And you'll see it pops open this Firebug console here for designers and developers. And I'm going to choose this little blue arrow here so I can select sections of this document, elements on the doc in, the, uh, in the document itself. And you'll notice as I move around, you see how the source code in the bottom left-hand side of the screen is jumping around different places? That's taking me to the exact place in the source code as where I'm pointing. So that's pretty simple. And what I want to do is I want to investigate this form, this login panel, somewhere right around the submit button. Sometimes it's right around the top of the form up here somewhere. I'm going to start right here on the submit button. Okay, so after I click it, it's going to stop moving around so I can come down here and look at it. And look at there. You see that hidden input field right there where it's, it's a lighter shade? That indicates that the field has been hidden. And it's got a redirect to variable there. And look at the value of it. See how it's set to the home page for the site? All right, so this is a little known feature. It's built into WordPress. Part of the core framework is this redirect to variable can be specified or not. But if it's specified in a login form, then you can override all other aspects, including all plugins, all themes, and it will redirect to the exact URL that's specified when this variable exists. So this is getting a lot of people out there and we're still working on finding a graceful way to deal with this with S2 member uh, when this occurs because see the, the, the fact of the matter is is that S2 member really uh, should, not over, should not try to override this. This is designed specifically so that it can override everything so that you can create a login box 
and specify this variable so that your login box is, is capable of redirecting to a specific location. For example, you might have a login box that you want to set up that is designed for a customer to log in and be returned immediately to the page they were previously on. And this, this variable can allow you to accomplish that. So we'll continue to look for those solutions. In the meantime, the solution here, in the case of this site, would be for the site owner to go through their theme files and search for redirect to and find it. And you can either just change this value to nothing. That should do the trick. Okay, or you could just take out that whole line, that whole input tag that could all come out and that will correct that problem for you. So now when you log in as a user or, or a member, you should then be redirected to the login welcome page that's configured for S2 member because there's no longer that, that overriding re redirect to parameter uh, superseding S2 members control of, of that behavior. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and post this in the forum on this thread. And I'm also going to place it into this. Uh, if you go to the S2 member forum here, you'll see there's a sub forum for common questions, problems, and tips that Christian set up. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there as well. And uh, hopefully this will help you guys. Uh, in the meantime, we're open to any suggestions that anyone has on how to resolve this uh, once and for all. Maybe not uh, have people going through some of the headaches with their themes. Uh, Christian suggested possibly that uh, we try to detect it and show the site under a warning in the dashboard. Uh, if that's that's a definite possibility we may consider that okay so thank you for listening and uh, catch up to us here in the forums we'll be happy to help you